here for netbooknews.com. Uh, we just made it over to San Francisco. We're in the fantastic view lounge of the Marriott Marquis Hotel and having a little drink while we are still can take a look at this uh, job rocket skyline of the Bay Area of San Francisco. And you know, like, like every year when I'm getting over to an Intel event, you know, somehow I'm getting over to the shop of the evil empire and getting a new gadget. And this year, no, it wasn't the iPhone 4, it wasn't the iPad, because I already have a little iPad over here. Um, it's actually the new iPod Touch. So it's the iPod Touch 2010. And to be honest, I cheated a little bit. I unboxed it, I reboxed it already, because you have to get it connected to your computer with your iTunes and blah, 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 just to set up everything. But besides that, you know, why don't we take a look at this little gadget over here and see what this new iPod Touch does. Well, first of all, it's already dirty after using it for roughly around five minutes. Um, but let me show you some differences and let me tell you a little bit about this uh, system itself. Uh, first of all, it's actually running the same CPU as the iPad, that means the A4. So this is pretty much the uh, iPad Nano, kind of. Uh, with pretty much the same resolution even, because this is the same Retina display that the iPhone 4 also sports. That's uh, 900 or something by 500 something. Sorry about that, I just have no clue right now. Let's say great resolution for such a small display. Um, and Apple calls it Retina. And it also comes um, with a volume control on the side. Well, the previous generation, you could only control the volume over your headset. So I'm actually uh, kind of curious to find out if I can still use my headset um, also for, for making phone calls over Skype. Because when I took a look at this, here's even a new headset. So it has no more volume controls. Uh, it has a nice little cable salad here. Okay, here we go. So no more volume control, uh, no microphones anymore. Um, I think just Apple got rid of this function that you can make phone calls um, over your iPod Touch. Um, besides that, you will notice this camera on the back and there is a camera on the front. Because uh, Apple thought um, it's good to reinvent something that Nokia has already in their phone for quite some years and now call it FaceTime and so everybody goes woo about it. But actually it's a pretty cool feature. So you can make our internet calls and uh, webcam calls and video conference calls. Um, yeah, besides that, um, here in this box, of course we have the connector that you can recharge it and connect it to your computer. And there's a little manual in here. Um, that's actually the 32 gigabyte version because $299 plus tax, so that was like $327. And to be honest, why can't they put just a simple sleeve in there? Or how about a little protection foil for the display that costs roughly 0.2 cents in the making and is getting sold in the Apple shop for $9.95 at least? I'm in the wrong business actually. Um, yeah, I was a little bit disappointing in terms of the accessories, um, but that's um, the Apple strategy and that's how they make money besides selling apps. Okay, let's switch that little fellow on. Here we go. And you can immediately see that it's coming up with a couple of Wi-Fi networks. Let's cut. You know, that's a funny thing because uh, I have to use my Wi-Fi hotspot of my HEC Desire, which is an Android device, because uh, I think the Apple device is not supporting anything like this so far. And um, now check out my fancy password for this. I'm going to change it for the IDF conference. So hopefully that works. Okay, that's looking good. And you immediately notice a couple of new pre-installed apps. Well, first of all, we have over here um, the FaceTime application. And then I need to just log in with my account, which should take a while. But first of all, the first thing that I notice is, well, Nicole can show you a little bit, again, this fantastic scenery. And I will let you know that uh, 
The display is just amazing. The resolution is really cool, and it's all I've been waiting for, or what Apple told us. Well, it's a happy hour going on over here. That's why it's quite busy. So my TVs are like 50% off. And uh, I've been a little bit arrogant. I just got a gin tonic. No, I got a fantastic gin tonic. Okay, I'm almost set. Here we go. So I hope it's um, logging me in with my Apple ID. But actually, this takes a while. Because even though the T-Mobile USA was telling me that I have a 3G connection on my phone with their new flexible plan or whatever, um, it's just running Edge right now and I wouldn't even call it Edge because it's like 0.06 Mbit, which means it's super slow. You know what, anyway, so let's go back to the... To, uh, home screen and over here we have another little application which is of course the camera not sure if you can film this Oop. wow it's, it's 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 super fast huh that's cool let's take a look let's take a look at the picture quality that's looking very decent yep very cool. I actually love that already. I've been trying it out for the first time right now. And something else which is called Game Center. So this is a new platform where you can do all kinds of board games or other little iPod games and uh, can compete against other online gamers that are using an iPod or an iPhone 4. It's, you know, I still want to see if this FaceTime thing Okay, thank you T-Mobile, it's still uh, working. Of course it's running iPhone OS uh, 4.01, I think, that's the one. So it comes with a kind of multitasking and it also gives you the opportunity to use folders right now, so something that we already used to for the last 25 years. Apple also made this transition over into the folder uh, operating system world. You know, anyways, it's just a short, short first impression because I just have no apps on it right now. So just unboxed it, but in terms of build quality, again, it's just amazing. Um, the display is gorgeous. That's all I can say. It's definitely the best display I've ever seen on a mobile device in, in this size. I'm not sure if you can even try to compare the one of my HD Desire with it, which is running, I think, 800 by 480. Uh, that's a huge difference on the iPod Touch. So yeah, that's the iPod Touch uh, 2010 with 32 gigabytes. And I'm Sasha for NetbookNews.com. Check out our detailed review on this little fellow over here. Thanks for watching.